Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 3 most waiting upcoming 2024 Adventure Motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase. which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. The overall length decreased by 25 mm 1 inch to 90.7 inches, which cannot be accounted for by the new wheelbase alone. The data also shows a weight increase of 3 kg 6.6 pounds for both DCT and manual versions. The new Africa Twin Adventure Sports DCT is listed with a weight of 328 kg, including a 75 kg rider. That translates to a curb weight of 253 kg, or 557.8 pounds, compared to 250 kg, or 551.1 pounds certified for the current model. Likewise, the manual transmission Adventure Sports model lists a new weight of 318 kg again, with a 75 kg rider. That works out to a curb weight of 243 kg, compared to the claimed curb weight of 529.1 pounds for the manual transmission 2023 Africa Twin Adventure Sports. The certification data doesn't tell us where that extra 6.6 .6 pounds comes from. But if we were to hazard a guess, one possible reason could be a radar system. A front-facing radar would allow for the adoption of adaptive cruise control, while a rear-facing unit would enable a blind spot detection system. We know for certain that Honda has filed multiple patents for possible ways to equip a radar on a motorcycle, but hasn't yet offered the technology on a production model. The Africa Twin and the Goldwing are the most likely candidates in Honda's lineup to receive this kind of technology. The 
global motorcycling community may have accidentally gotten a hint at pricing for the upcoming 2024 BMW R1300GS. According to our European friends, the information briefly appeared in a BMW Financial Services drop-down menu on the US website. The menu option was quickly yanked down, and our own inspection of that site and drop-down menu shows that it's no longer visible as of the afternoon of August 14, 2023. If the information that motor ad screen capped is correct, U.S. pricing should be $19,590. Pricing for motorcycles by international OEMs is often not a direct conversion, so it's not yet clear what if anything that pricing might mean for other markets. A perusal of the same site on August 14, 2023, yields American market pricing information for the 2024 R1250GS Adventure as well as the 2024 R1250R, RS, and RT. The R1250GS Adventure will be $21,440. The R1250R will be $16,040. The R1250RS will be $16,690 and the R1250RT will be $20,690. It's not yet clear if there are plans for an R1300GS adventure immediately upon its unveiling at the end of September 2023. Nor how such an introduction might impact pricing of the R1250GS adventure when it becomes available. Still, if this screen cap is accurate, it makes sense considering the pricing information we've seen for existing models. At this point, nothing is official until BMW confirms it, but it's still an interesting potential glimpse into the future. At this point, we've seen plenty of spy shots of the upcoming R1300GS in what must be the final phases of testing. BMW announced its plans to reveal the R1300GS to the world on September 28, 2023, which is slightly over a month away at the time of writing. We don't know how soon after that date pricing and availability will be announced, but it will be interesting to see how accurate this leak ends up being. The upcoming 2024 BMW R1300GS will have a bigger displacement engine, with 143.5 horsepower and 109.9 foot-pounds of torque, compared to the current 1250GS. The new BMW R1300GS will feature a completely new all-aluminum frame, making it larger and broader than its predecessor, and it will also be lighter in weight. The 2024 BMW R1300GS will come with an impressive list of features including front and rear radars, blind spot monitoring, rear collision warning, dual display LCD screen, an adaptive ride height adjustable windshield. The pricing is expected to start at $19,590. We've all been waiting for it, and we're finally about to get it. The new generation BMW R1300GS is almost here. The Piaggio and Italian brand showed spoke wheels, the bike's name, and a picture of the Stelvio Mountain Pass to subtly tease the motorcycle. Since then, this has become a hot topic for enthusiasts, courtesy of repeated sightings of the Stelvio undergoing tests. Now, it seems the testing phase is finally over and the motorcycle is ready to break the internet. Why? Well, because images of the production spec V100 Stelvio have been leaked on the internet, that too, straight from Moto, Guzzi dealerships.
As its name suggests, the Stelvio draws a lot of inspiration from the existing V100 Mandelo. So the new adventure bike flaunts the same guzzy special design language, complete with a distinct LED headlight and tail lamp. However, there's no shortage of bespoke elements here. The Stelvio boasts a new edgy fender up top, flanked by muscular side panels that merge into the radiator shrouds. The tank looks different too, and interestingly, we can't spot Moto Guzzi's unique adaptive aerodynamic flaps here. Instead, the tank now has beefy indents, possibly to help lock the knees when standing up. At the opposite end, you now get a massive luggage plate in place of the Mandelo's sleek grab rails. This is partnered by a short, new exhaust with a dual-tone finish. Meanwhile, the overall ruggedness has increased, thanks to a tall, transparent windscreen, spoke wheels, and handguards, all missing on the existing ADV. Rounding off the design is a set of new color options. The leaked images reveal two of these. The first wraps the motorcycle in a striking orange-gray livery, while the second comprises a matte black and gray finish with neon green graphics. That's quite bold by Guzzi standards since all of its existing offerings have relatively simpler liveries. Another noteworthy change here is the ergonomics. The new spy shots give us a good look at the Stelvio's new seat and handlebar. The former is clearly slimmer and more aggressively shaped, while the latter appears wider and taller than the Mandelo's handlebar. These should ensure a more upright riding triangle, along with better stand-up riding abilities. The new windscreen will make life easier, too. That said, toothed pegs seem missing here. Once atop, the Stelvio will greet you with the same 5-inch TFT instrument cluster as the motorcycle it's based on. But previous sightings reveal the new ADV will be much better equipped. That's because the motorcycle will be Moto Guzzi's first radar-equipped offering. Front and rear radars have both been spied on the test mules, which should enable features such as blind spot detection, adaptive cruise control, and collision warning. In the meantime, bits like custom rider modes, traction control, quick shifter, cornering ABS, and smartphone connectivity will all come straight from the Mandelo. Finally, mechanicals. The Stelvio is expected to employ the same 1,042 cubic centimeters, transversal, twin-cylinder engine as the Mandelo. The mill is good for 115 horsepower and 77 pound-feet, all of which kick in from as low as 6,750 RPM. You should expect a different engine map, though, so off-road shenanigans become more fun. <laughs>